What's up, Faith Squad? What's up, Faith Squad? Happy Tuesday. Hope all is well with everybody. Yeah, I'm shaking my head. Yeah, y'all see my earrings? Hope all is well with you guys. We are here to do the Q&A finally. I was going to wait till I did a mukbang, but ain't no telling when that's going to happen, y'all, because... I just ain't cooking heavy and eating every day, so I ain't finna just come on here and bring y'all no bologna sandwich. Even though I know some of y'all, my ride or die, said that y'all would still watch anything that I put out. It's just too much time and energy to set up, and you know people ain't gonna come view it, so I ain't doing it. Now, when I get good, thick meals going on, things, I know y'all like to see y'all come. And plus, I've just been chilling, y'all. But shout out to my girl, Vicky's World. Thank you so much. Vicky blessed me, y'all. She sent me some earrings. She had came to my chat over on my Face Squad 2020 channel, y'all. If y'all ain't checked that channel, I'll get over there, y'all. We're trying to reach 1K now. We got to get 1K, y'all, so we can separate these channels. I would like to do mukbangs over there and do my, uh, I mean, you know, do my mukbangs over here and keep my vlogs and, um, you know, just my other random videos over there. But shout out to Vicky because she was in the chat and we was just talking about stuff. And I had mentioned that I got to get me some earrings. I ain't have none. And she blessed you, girl. She know I like these bam boom earrings you know so i'm so appreciative of that i was so excited and she also blessed me with some colorful lips y'all anybody that know me know i ain't no makeup girl but i like eyeliner lipstick lip gloss earrings purses bracelets that's all i need look at these pretty colors y'all i hope y'all can see it i think i done tore the sticker off so i can't even tell y'all the names of them i think this says millennium Milan Color Statement Matty Lipstick Diva. Uh, and this one, oh, it's so pretty, y'all. So I put the pink one on for y'all today while we do these Q&As. Shout out to everybody that left me some questions. I tried to wait it out because I know some people might have missed the video or whatever. My head cut off, whatever. We here, though, y'all. Look at that pretty pink, y'all. That's what I got on right now is that pretty old pink. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much, Vicky. I appreciate that. God bless you, boo. And this is like a brown, like a reddish, like a dark. It's pretty. I put it on my lips yesterday to see. It's so pretty. I like these colors. These are the type of colors that I like. And then I put a little lip gloss on her. I had to add some lip gloss to it, you know, to shine it up. And then this color is that fire red, baby. You know it. Y'all know that fire red, baby. Red bone, red, red bone. So these are, I, I, I really appreciate that, Vicky. I'm loving these colors. Even though we quarantined and ain't going nowhere, you know, I at least be comfortable. Because, you know, when you put your hair up in a bun, you got a little chunky head like I got. You know, you want some earrings on. So thank you so much, Vicky. And she got me a couple of cute pairs. I got these triangle ones. I got some stars. Some hearts, and I got some circle ones, and some more circle ones that's doubled up. These doubled up, these that. So thank you, Vicky. I appreciate that, boo. Oh, let me put Dang Dash on pause. My bad, y'all. I've been watching YouTube. So let's get into these Q and A, y'all. I had left, um, you know, my girl Noble Strength. Shout out to Noble Strength. Had uh, suggested that I do another Q and A. You know, because we got us some new family members, y'all. We on the road to 4K, my people. And y'all know me. It ain't no rush or nothing like that. But it's also a joy. It's exciting. Because my goals, you know, I don't really set goals on numbers. But I was just excited, you know, to see that we was growing. Because at first it seemed like we was at a standstill. And I know that's what part of the stuff that goes on on YouTube, y'all. It just go on like that. That's just what goes on. So... Okay, get that out the way. First question. It is from Jessica Williams. Hey, Jessica. She said, which content creator would you love to collab with? It's so many I can't choose, but if I could, the first person that I want to see is uh, chatting to with Miss J. I know I love me some Miss J. That is my boo. I love her. She is in Las Vegas, and I just hope and pray that one day God allows us to see each other. 
Uh, next question. What was your favorite TV shows back in the day? Back in the day, I had so many TV shows. Y'all, I grew up. I'm an old school person. I like old school music, old school shows. Two Two Seven, The Jeffersons, Good Times, Amen, Different World, Family Matters, Living Single, all that type of stuff. I was down for. We can even go back, back, like, like, like old school, old school, back, like Mama's Family and Family Ties and you know, Three's Company and stuff like that. I, I like that type stuff. Okay, Noble Strength said, did you ever play sports? And thank you, Jessica, for the question, sweetie. I appreciate you. Noble says, did you ever play sports in high school, specifically basketball, because of your height? Actually, no, Noble. I never played sports in high school. I didn't finish high school. I had uh, left high school in the 10th grade and went to adult learning. And then, you know, I didn't finish that, but I did go back. To, and get my GED and my associate's degree in medical assisting, y'all. So I was proud of that. So I did get to go back and get some college and things in and, you know, get my life back together on track because I just wasn't feeling the not having no complete education. But, no, I did play basketball when I went to Job Corps. I was went to Job Corps. I can't remember the years and dates and stuff, y'all, but I know I was like, I think I was like 17, 16, 17 Probably 17 going on 18, I think, if I'm mistaken. But I played basketball in Job Corps, and I only played because when you play sports and stuff in Job Corps, you get to travel from state to state and be around the boys and all that stuff. So I was like, I'm playing. I didn't even know how to play. But I learned how to play. And about me being tall, I was the center, and I was racking it up out of it. Get it up out of there. I was racking it, y'all. They weren't running up on me. <sighs> so I did play basketball in Job Corps. She says, I know you have a close relationship with God. What is one way he has spoken to you that may encourage someone who feels like God has not spoken to them? First and foremost, I would like to say it's been many times he's spoken to me. And the and, and, and an encouraging word that I was sent out to somebody who's waiting on God to speak to them is speak to him first. You know, you got to call out to God. You got to repent. You got to let him know that you're trying to, you need him in your life. You want him. And that's what I did. I was just at a up and down spiral in my life and so much was going on not too much positive things and he just snatched me up he snatched me up out of my soul y'all and it was at a time where I was just sick and ripping running the streets I just wanted my life together I didn't want so much drama around me I got tired of going out to the clubs and bars and just doing nothing you know I got tired of doing nothing and you know it just happened it just it just it just happened and it just let me know how real he was and you know I turned my life over a little bit I was into church more you know going heavy I'm not in church right now but you don't have to be in the church to be in church you feel what I'm saying I feel like you don't I know some people say you should and all that or whatever but I done went to a couple churches been in out here and there and you know I just feel like you don't have to be in church to to have the love you got for God and to praise him and uplift him and spread his word so that's why i thank god for this platform but god spoke to me at that time in my life when i was just going through so much and i needed him the most and that's why i have so much respect and love for him because you know he promised that he would never leave nor forsake us and i know that by me going to church and you know the holy spirit taking over me me repenting me walking up to that altar crying and pouring my heart out and just having different moments and different testimonies. It was just a good feeling. To, and, you know, some people, you see people fade away from you. You know, people probably talk about you. She's so godly now and all this and all that. But it was all for the best. I don't, I don't, wouldn't change it back for nothing in the world. And I just thank God for stepping in my life when I needed him the most. So that's how I would encourage somebody that feel like that God don't hear them or they don't know. You got to talk to him more and more. The more and more you involve yourself and, and accept him in your life and do what his will and his way. He don't want you to be perfect. You ain't got to be perfect, but you got to live right. You got to be right. You got to love people. You got to, you know, be more giving than taking. It's things that God requires us to do for we can be up there with him when it's our time. So if you are watching this right now and you a person that really, don't know, you know, need some encouragement to feel like if you feel like God hasn't spoken to you yet, you yet he will. You just got to also invite him in. You know what I mean? He wants to know that you want him there in your heart because he know you can say it out your mouth, but you have to feel it in your heart. Let him know from your heart that you need and want him to surround you and love you and teach you his will and his way. And it'll happen. Good question, Noble. Thank you for that. And I was I had to, uh, you know, email my girl 
break it down for me and let me know, you know, give me some examples of what she meant by that question. Because ain't no shame in my game. If I don't understand something, I reach out, I ask questions and all that. Closed mouth don't get fed. Don't y'all forget that. All right. Next question from Eats with Fifi, my girl. She said, do you want children? I have always wanted children. I've tried to have children. I never did nothing to prevent from having children when I was in relationships and I haven't had none. I don't, I, to my knowledge, I don't, so far, I don't have no medical condition that's stopping me. I just feel like it was, it's all God's calling. You know, some people, God placed on this earth to birth children for whatever reason. Some people, he just placed children in your life and let you help raise them. And that's why I thank God for my nieces and nephews and my close friends that have children that I help raise. So them is my kids. It used to get to me a little bit because I really wanted my own. You know, if I happen to there tomorrow, I'm still going to be accepting of it. But it's not nothing that I beat myself up about. She says, are you dating? No, I am not dating. I don't think I ever went on a date. If I did, it was a fake date with a hood nigga that had a blunt and cigar and we went out to eat. But I'm just being honest. But no, I'm not dating, uh, y'all. Um, I've been single for about four years now, if not longer, maybe four, five years. My last relationship, it was good. None of my relationships ended on bad terms. We all still cool. We all speak. So that's a good thing. But, you know, you learn and you grow from relationships. So I've been single for a while and celibate, you know, for about two years. And I ain't tripping about it. I don't have the urge and I don't need to go get no toys and dildos. And, all. you know, that's too much information. But I'm just at peace with my natural self and when God blesses me with that husband, y'all going to be the ones to know it. Some of y'all be invited to the wedding and everything. So I ain't dating. How old are you? I am 39 years old. For y'all that don't know, I am 39 with no children, single, and I'll be 40 in July, y'all. July the 14th, cancers. What are your goals for the year? My goals each and every year, each and every month, each and every day is just to always wake up and be a better me. I'm, you know, you set goals of how you want to be in your plans and things. And then when things don't get go your way or go, don't work out right, you kind of get sad and stressed and stuff. But I don't do that. I would love, it, for just to, to sum it all up, I would love to uh, work for myself. I ain't good with working with people. I done did that all my life. And I know sometimes you got to do what you got to do to survive. But I found it that I'm a, I, will, I want to own my own business, whether it be a child care or any other type of business where it's helping people and God places that upon me. That's what I want to do. And I want to work for myself. And want, I want to have people that work for me that love people and that love helping people. That's my goal. My goal in life is to work for myself and be successful and be able to take care of my nieces and nephews and family and look out for people. That's what I want to do. Simple. And I know God going to make that happen in his time. Reds Random. What's up, Reds? My girl, she said, have you lived in another... Was that all Fifi eggs? My bad. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Make sure this clock's still going. Fifi. Reds Random said, have you lived in another state before? I am originally residing in Kentucky. I've been living in Kentucky since I was 15. Yes, yeah, since I was 15, 14 going on 15. Me and my family moved to Kentucky. We are originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Those are the only two states I have physically lived in besides when I went to Job Corps and I was, you know, still in Kentucky, but I have never lived no other state. She says, do you have any sisters? Um, not on my mother's side, but I'm sure my father has sisters, has daughters. I'm talking on the phone to, I think, one of, one of them, but I have never physically met none of my siblings on my daddy's side. Do you know how to drive? I know how to drive. I done drove before, but I'm not a driver. I've never had a license. I'm scared to drive. My nerves too bad. I be driving. My leg be shaking. And, you know, I done practiced a couple times when I felt like I wanted to drive. But at 39, no, I am not a driver. <laughs> That's sad, too. But I'm scared to death, y'all. Not of driving, but of other drivers, you know. So maybe one day I'll get over that fear and the airplane fear. Chantel Davis is our new family member. What's up, Chantel? Thank you for subscribing to the Face Squad channel and leaving good, beautiful, positive content. I mean, comments. I appreciate that. She said, how long does it take you to set up for a video? To be honest with you, Chantel, like where I'm at is my video setup. It's my living room. I got a one bedroom. I ain't really got too many areas that I've decided to make 
a set up actual place because one thing I do remember B Love saying is set up your stuff where it's gonna always be at so it don't be so time consuming. So basically I'm in my living room. I got my lights plugged up so when it's time to set up, I just pull everything closer. I got my table in the middle, which I made me a stand for my food and stuff. You know, it's kind of rigged up but it's it's comfortable and it's convenient for me so I don't have to be stressed out. Now the only time the setup is 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 time consuming is when I don't have everything close by and I still gotta cook. The cooking is the thing that wears you out because by the time you get done cooking you kinda lose your appetite and you tired. You ready to sit down and chit chat and eat. So it really don't take me that long. Just depends. Like if I'm sitting here and I'll be like I want to get a video out today, I'll kind of prep stuff along the way ahead of time. <clears throat> her next question is how do you keep your food from getting cold well most of us content creators we have um griddles we use griddles and everything but nine times out of ten when i'm setting up and finna eat i just got finished cooking so the food's still kind of hot unless i you know it's taking a little longer to set up if i'm having camera issues or something like that but other than that it my food just be hot because i just got finished cooking it my girl kimberly cochran hey friend thank you Chantel, for the question sweetheart Kimberly says, one thing that made you proud in 2019, just to see new 2019 was a blessing for me. You know, things weren't going how I wanted them to go, family, front, whatever stuff, going through stuff. But I made it to see 2019 and we also hit our 3K in 2019. So that was a blessing. She says, do you sleep in complete darkness or with a nightlight? I sleep with my TV on, Kimberly. I cannot sleep in complete darkness or complete silence. I just have to sleep with my TV on. Until I fall asleep and then if it automatically cut off on its own. One YouTube channel you watch that your subscribers would be surprised that you watch. Well, it's a couple of them. I don't think that they would be surprised because everybody know I like kids and stuff. But I like to watch um, the single moms and stuff or the families that got children and stuff. Like I watch uh, My Jazzy Life, Jazzy Life. Uh, I watch um, um, Liv's Life. I watch a lot of... Uh, mamas and you know they family and cleaning up and shopping and doing all that stuff i love to watch them channels i love to watch them ladies i also try to leave them positive comments even though if they don't see it or not sometimes they do sometimes they don't but i like watching them channels i like to see what they got going on with them babies and things i love kids okay and um that was it from kimberly thank you friend we are 17 okay last question tosh time yeah what 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 what, what? She said, knowing what you know about YouTube in 2020, is there anything different you would have done when you started out? No, I, I, I wouldn't change nothing that I um, did starting out Tosh Time besides I would have probably tried to, uh, uh, you know, research a little more because, you know, y'all know I don't edit. I just, you know, do the front back thing and just it, it, it be what it be. If I'm recording and the phone drop, nine times out of ten, that's going to be in the video. So I would have just learned, and I'm still, you know, trying to learn how to edit and stuff like that. But it's really not a big deal to me. I understand why it's a big deal to some people. They want to be real professional and do all this and put stuff in and do stuff and take stuff out. I like to do stuff like that, but I'm still learning. But no, it's really nothing I wouldn't change. Because to me, when you learn stuff, growth, growth comes with strength and growth, you know, come together. Like you got to learn, you got to have heels and bumps and roads and trials and tribulations to make you come out greater. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff that I have been through or going through or went through on YouTube, it has did nothing but made me stronger and it keeps me here still standing. So shout out to all my loyal supporters and my people that's been rocking with me because y'all are the reason that I'm still here. Because I usually would have been tapped out and gave out because certain stuff that goes on, I just don't be feeling and I be ready to you know, get out of character and stuff. And as you get older, you that ain't what you own. So I wouldn't change nothing, Tosh Time, to be honest. She says, if you were to have kids, how many would you want to have? And would you prefer girl boys? If I was to have kids, I would love to have twins, Tosh Time, to be honest, so I could have a boy and a girl. Because if any of y'all that don't know and y'all just watching, I am a twin. I got a brother. We twins. We're 14 minutes apart. But I would want, I would push more for girls because I grew up with five brothers and I'm the only girl. And boys would torture, they torture. But to me, boys got to go out and have kids and be with all these baby mamas that you might have to not like and they might not like you. And you got to fall out with them and see the kids and all. It's just too much with the boys. Girls, I know they can get pregnant and do things. And mamas be like, I don't want no girls. But I like little girls. But I like little boys too. So it really wouldn't make a difference to me. 
but I would like to. I would love, would have loved to have twins. So that is all the questions, y'all. And we are 20 minutes in. I don't want to hold y'all up, but I thank each and every last one of y'all who left me some questions. And I appreciate y'all so much. And even if you didn't get to leave none and you still have questions, leave me some in the community post or any up in any of my videos. I will get the notifications. Leave it in my email or something. And I'll just randomly answer them in your videos. Again, shout out to Noble Strength for suggesting this video. I appreciate you. And shout out to Vicky's World for blessing me with the earrings and the lipstick. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't go outside if you don't have to. Protect you and your loved ones. Don't worry about what the world got going on. And stop watching the news so much. Peace, love, and blessings. Love y'all. And who we riding with? We riding with the angels. Love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed.